Hello, hello. Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Cassandra and I am really, really excited. But first, they say that the lifeblood of your business is new leads, right? Uh, it takes more money to find new people, right? But here's the thing, right? People are looking for what you sell. That's, that's what a lead is. And it can seem that it's hard to find, especially in this day and age. But what if I told you that leads were right in front of your face, right in front of your face, and you didn't even know it. Would you want to know how to bring a magnifying glass and see them in a where's Waldo world of marketing? The state of your business is leads. If you don't have them, you're going to potentially suffer, right? So fear not, I have a solution that will, that will allow you to find leads right in front of your face on any social media platform. And, doo -doo -doo -doo. If you learned something helpful today, please do say uh, hashtag level up so I can celebrate in your wins. And here's what we're gonna cover today. So what is a sales lead? What are the three markets you need to be aware of and how you can um, get leads from each of them and how to get today's gift. So let me make sure I didn't miss anything else. Hold on, I'm sorry. Uh, 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 type a three play. Uh, you'll just and show you how to get your show notes. Oh wait, I didn't actually show that to you. So your gift today is how to find leads on any social media platform. And in order to get this gift, go ahead and say show notes down below. Again, we'll cover all the three things that I just shared with you. And we're going to cover again what is a sales lead. So do -do -do -do. sorry, I'm looking at my notes over here. I need two screens. Two screens would be great. I probably should figure out how to do that. All right. Yes. Huh. So what is a sales lead? <laughs> sales lead is individuals and businesses that are prospective buyers. They are identified via marketing or advertising, right? Whether it's FREE -E or paid, you can do it through referrals, social media posts, networking and outreach, which is direct one-on-one, -on -one, product trials, consultations. There is an endless number of ways that you can create a sales lead. Now, you may be thinking, is that a prospect? No, a prospect is a lead that does uh, that becomes a prospect when they've been qualified, right? They are someone who has stepped up and said, I need that and I'd like to purchase that, or I might be thinking of purchasing that, right? And so you have qualified said lead and determined their level of interest and if they fit as a potential customer, right? If you are a um, butcher, you're not gonna want to market to a vegan, right? That you just, it doesn't fit. So here are your three markets your cold market, your warm market, and your hot market. If you don't know uh, what these are, the cold market is people you do not personally know or who know you. Your warm market is your network of potential customers and uh, that you've had some previous contact or relationship with, i.e. they know, like, and trust you. And then finally, your warm market, current or past customers who know, like, and trust you. They're heralds, they're your fans, they will sing how amazing you are. That's your warm market. Excuse me, that's your hot market. Oh, that's a... Uh, uh, typo on my warm market. All right, so your cold market, let's go ahead and go back to that. I'm gonna go back to my notes. So your cold market is just that. They don't know you. you, they may not have seen you around, maybe you have some ads that you're going to them, but you are basically going to find prospects that you can help on different relevant social media networks. There's the same process on most of them, right? You make a post or you go in a group and you make a post or you directly reach out, right? You find the people who you can help on social media and you provide answers. They get to know you a little bit better. They build that rapport with you uh, and you with them. And so they will seek you out and see what else you can do. And it's also on you to reach out and say, hey, you know, I am looking for um, people who want to learn how to improve their marketing online. Do you know anybody, right? So you can ask for referrals. So you wanna try and connect with as many people as you can that are relevant to who you want to serve. These connections can be really close that you build up, or maybe they're more on the outskirts, right? You just know someone because uh, you met them at a networking event and you know, you've know you got a, a list of people who you can 
share their information with, right? So, <clears throat> excuse me. So the more connections you have, the wider your reach will be. Again, you don't have to be best friends with them, but you have, uh, by knowing who they are and what they do and being organized with, you know, I guess your Rolodex of, of potential people you can help or help by, by creating connections, right? These these connections can be amongst just people for um, your potential project, pro, potential prospects or potential power partners, people that you can work with. So when you share an update section, uh, for example, if you're on LinkedIn, you can share that you're looking to identify and help specific type of prospect with a specific type of problem by a specific date. Maybe you can, maybe you have a um, testimonial where you yourself or somebody else took your teachings and was able to generate 100 leads in a week. And you could say, hey, when you learn this training about how I did X, you can learn how to get 100 leads in a week too. Right? You can you can share that with people in an update and say this is who I'm looking for this is what I'm offering you know this offer ends in three hours whatever right uh, you want to get a little bit more time than that <clears throat> unless your page is like super active and uh, so you can post that as an update and see people who can refer or speak up for themselves hey thanks for joining appreciate it hello hello all right um. So you can you can do that. You can also uh, directly reach out and get recommendations from current clients, and um, and that way they can vouch for the quality of work, your professionalism, your effectiveness, things like that. This is also a great opportunity to share your testimonials about your company and the the how you have helped other people and things like that. Some extra credit, as it were, you can you should broaden to multiple networks. Now, I'm not saying you should become an expert in all of them. That takes a lot of time to not only learn all of the little ins and outs of things, but also they constantly change. So I would highly suggest sticking to one network specifically until you're really, really good at it. But be sure that you have a presence on everywhere else, right? This is your online real estate. This is how people find you. Plus, if you don't even just snag your handle, which is basically your username, Someone else might get it. And then it could be a very costly financially battle or legal if it's, you know, uh, copyrighted or something. So just, as, just an idea, right? Uh, and then finally, you can post articles on the different sites. You know, you can post no, um, notes. You can post in your groups. You can uh, create an actual article like on LinkedIn. So those are, those are things that you can do. You can also offer 15-minute consult consultations depending upon your business. So those are things you can do for your cold market. Your warm market, um, you can work with personal, uh, your personal network, right? Your one-on-ones, identify those potential leads. Um, think about people who maybe need what you have or have mentioned that they need what you have, or maybe you think they might know someone who needs what you have. Talk with those people, right? You won't know until you communicate. The worst they can say is, I don't know anybody. All right, so we can also revisit closed or lost opportunities. So sometimes people say no to what you had to offer. Doesn't mean you can't come back a few months down the road after you've been, you know, building up that relationship, you know, commenting on their page, sharing stuff when you think of them, right? These are things you can do as you're building up those, those relationships, but then revisit those closed or lost opportunities because, again, some things can change drastically in a month, a year, five years, right? You just never know. So revisit those closed or lost opportunities. You can also implement an email sequence if you have a, an email list, right? And that's one of the ways that you stay in the top of someone's uh, mindset is by showing up. For your hot market, these are things where, where you um, can talk to your current customers. Again, referrals. Um, either, either for what you've done now or in the past. Thank them for their business. See if they're open to additional opportunities to work together. You can um, get, I wouldn't necessarily get the name, phone number, and email of a, of a contact they suggest, but you can say, hey, if you have someone um, who, would be, who would be interested in what I have, can you find out if they would be interested in talking with me and then exchanging that information? Because you don't want to come off as a slimy salesperson, right? And random calls from people you've never known about who say that so-and-so got you in touch. I don't know about you, but I don't like it when people give out my number to people I don't know. So just a suggestion, right? Uh, do with it as you see fit was best for your business. 
Um, you can even send handwritten notes as thank yous for people who maybe give testimonials or things like that. Um, those little bit of extra touch really go a long way. Uh, let's see. You can also, in your in your uh, hot market, find out if they're interested in continuing. Maybe you're you have people coming to the end of a coaching program with you, and if you reach out and say, "Hey, you know, this is ending on the 15th of this month. Would you like to continue with this?" They may be totally interested and just forgot, right? So those are some things you can do with your warm and uh, hot market. But for both of them. You can invite them to a workshop or seminar because they know who you are. They may already be on your newsletter, right? And if you say, hey, I'm doing a workshop or a seminar, here's what it's about. Here's how much it is. You could make a sale, right? You want to actively engage with new leads at networking events. So even if it's just a webinar, there are ways to interact with them and engage and get their feedback and help them feel like they're part of a community. You can also work with influencers. If you know someone in the space who um, maybe has a similar target market to you, perhaps you can offer to do a training for their group or have them come and talk and do a training for you. So those are opportunities to work with influencers as well. There's affiliate partnerships and so many other ways um, to utilize your warm and heart market. Now, in any market whatsoever, any market, I meant to be doing this the whole time, sorry. <laughs> so in any market whatsoever, there are several opportunities with which you can do this. You can embed a meeting scheduler on your website. So if someone comes to your, let's say, it's your invitation to have um, a, a chat with you, or maybe they're on your about page, and you have, uh, let's say, a, a chat bot attached, and they click on it, and they say schedule meeting, and it's, a it, it's integrated with a meeting scheduler. Talk about automation. You set the days and times that you're available. Somebody comes on there, they clicks a button, they confirm with their email address, which gives you their information. Boom, you have it on your, on your list. Maybe you have a paid link. That they get once they purchase or maybe or whatever right they, they pay they purchase and then they get the uh, actual ability to invite there are so many ways with which to generate leads uh create additional income through your business so much great stuff you can engage with live chat users you can do ads with both the book of faces youtube linkedin etc right you can provide discounts and coupons you can do cr uh, highly valuable content the reason why you can do this for all is because these are things that you can run ads to. People who are already watching you will potentially see it in your feeds. And the more you are consistent with your marketing, the more likely people are to see what it is that you have to share. Okay. Um, let's see. Ensure your site has a way to accept generate leads. This is a huge thing. I've actually seen many websites where you might want to contact them and there is no contact me page. That seems crazy, but sometimes people just forget. You want to improve every opportunity for lead generation. So you want to optimize your social media profiles so that they're more appealing to buyers, so that they give them information and next steps. You want to identify where your visitors are actually scrolling to and clicking. So if they're going to a particular website, or excuse me, a particular page on your website, or if they're going more to your Facebook than your YouTube, right? You want to be where your people are, <laughs> as Ariel says. <laughs> I want to be where the people are, right? Uh, analyze Google Analytics data. This can tell you a lot. I wasn't looking at my data for a long time. And when I checked in, I realized I had like almost a thousand people a day checking my, my webpage. I wish I was floored. I was like, wow, my SEO game is pretty good right now. So you want to check that so that you know where you need to improve. And maybe you want to give a little bit of more SEO love to a particular page or uh, promotion. So those are things that you want to leverage to see what's working, especially if you're testing how certain sales pages look. Installing live chat using exit pop-up offers. Again, you want to make sure that you know a little bit more than just uh, that you need it because um, certain certain instances require that you don't have certain things based off of mobile or desktop and things like that, right? So be easy on the exit pop-up offers. You don't want them on every single page, for example. And include testimonials. I said that a little earlier, but I cannot stress this importance enough. Testimonials they show people that you're not just some random person on the internet, that there are people out there that are talking about you honestly about how their experience was. Now don't put something on there that's fake. Don't just fill your feed with a bunch of false people talking about whatever. Don't do that. Just be authentic, be you, okay? 
So that is what I wanted to share today. If you received value, please give this a little heart reaction. Sprinkle this amongst your friends and family if you think that they would benefit. <clears throat> and if you learn something new, go ahead and comment with hashtag level up so that I can celebrate with you uh, in your win. And da -da -da -da. I still have my gift for you. So if you want to find out how to find leads on any social media platform, super, super easy. Oops. Super, super easy. Here we go. Just say show notes down below and I will reach out via direct message. So that way you can get the information on how to get today's replay. Uh, excuse me, my, my little dog is scratching at my door. Hi, buddy. I should have left this door open, but people are sleeping. Hi, because it's siesta time. All right, you want to say hi, buddy? Ah, oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, you want to say hi? Say hi. <laughs> so this is Dyson. This is my favoriteest puppy in the world. Ah. And I forgot to pick up a blanket so he's not stepping on the skirt. There we go. Hi. Thanks for your patience. <laughs> okay. So as I was saying, uh, I have my gift ready and waiting. So if you just say show notes down below, uh, I will be sure to get that to you via private message. And it's going to look something like this. So I know it's a little hard to read because the picture is kind of small. But when you when you say show notes, you'll get today's re replay. You'll get the um, uh, the gift that you see here and you'll also get these slides so if for some reason you don't get it which you should i set it all up earlier but sometimes tech stuff happens uh when you get the slides you'll just click on this little image right here and it'll take you right to it all right let's see anything else before i wrap up today went through all that cool cool awesome Yep, that's it. So again, if you want that replay and all the, the, the gifts and everything like that, just say show notes down below. Thank you so much. As I said earlier, they say that the lifeblood of your business is new leads. Yet with traditional face-to-face -face lead generation opportunities significantly cut, significantly cut right now, the way in which we used to do business, it just has to change. Not just for your safety, not just for the safety of those that you care about, but because we are living in a time where we spend less and less interactions person to person without a screen between us, right? So where can you find these new leads? They're right in front of your face. I just gave you some information on how to uh, find people on any platform. And when you say show notes, I will give the rest of it to you uh, via your email. So all you got to do is just, you need to know where to look, you need to open your eyes, and you need to take some action. So in today's training, I brought out a magnifying glass to show you exactly where in where exactly where in where's Waldo's where's Waldo World. Whew, that's a mouthful of marketing that you can find them. And by doing so, reveal how leads are hiding right in front of your face. If you enjoyed what you saw today and would like to continue to learn more about how you can create further uh, improvements in your online marketing results, be sure to join me every Saturday at 2 p.m. Central. I am Cassandra the Prosperous Heart. My passion is empowering other people just like you to create better results online. So thank you so much for being here today. You could have literally been anywhere else and I really appreciate you sharing your time. So thank you so much. Have a wonderful and prosperous rest of your day and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Oh, oh no. Well, I was going to answer questions, but um, apparently moving off the screen, put everything away. So if you have questions, when I, once I hop off, um, I'll check everything then. So thanks so much. Have a great day. I'll see you later. Bye.